The Hendo hoof is famous, bro. The power he gets on it is just like yeah. inhuman. Thinking how? Hitting off the crossbar back and forth. <laughs> Yeah, remember the name. In the bath, in the shower, with the candles on. You're a man of culture, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> it hurts you off, innit? Everybody like, speaks football. And I was just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yes, guys, what's good? This is Next Gen. Welcome to Group Chat. I'm here with James, Deji, and we got my boy Leon Chawome, yeah? So, welcome to Group Chat, bro. Introduce yourself, tell us about yourself. My name is Leon Chawome. I'm 17, first year scholar. Uh, I've been at the club for um, seven months now and I'm a striker, so yeah. Striker, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a good start to the year, innit? Yeah, it's been all right, it's been Man. decent. All right. That was yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Down. It's yeah. I'm, um, seeing, I'm seeing hat trick against Germany. Yeah. <laughs> I'm seeing pro contracts. Big up yourself, man. Congratulations Thank on that one, man. Big up yourself, man. We love that, man. Sure. Talk to us about it then, man. Well, yeah, some of the England thing. Um, it's a good opportunity to get called back up. Like I went uh, originally last year, 2020, to, uh, to Georgia, elite rounds, got injured there. And um, that kind of took me out of the whole camp. And then um, pretty much they called me back up after one week back from injury. Yeah. And um, yeah, just went, did my thing there. And yeah, luckily it went my way. Luckily, man. Yeah. yeah. I was a lucky hat. <laughs> nah, no luck in that one. Yeah. So that one week after injury, did you sort of, was you a bit reluctant? Did you know you was ready or was you thinking, not too ready yet, or did you just see how it went? Well, to be honest, like when you get called up to England, you don't really think about that. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, I remember because yeah, yeah. originally I was on standby, mm -hmm. but they didn't tell me I was on standby because of some some like technical issues. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Um, so it was like Saturday night. I just played Nottingham Forest. Mm -hmm. It was about eight o'clock, and I get a text message from the academy director saying you're you're flying out to Spain tomorrow. And I was just like, what? And yeah, my yeah, passport's yeah. down in Brighton because that's where I'm originally <laughs> yeah, from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're gonna have to send a driver down to Brighton, okay, okay, bring it yeah, up, yeah, this yeah, and yeah. that, and then yeah, and then next day. Day, like nine o'clock, I was like flying out to Spain, so like, buzzing, something like that. Yeah, but yeah, it was good. Buzzing, buzzing, yeah. buzzing. Mm -hmm. Pro contract, talk about that, man. Yeah, that's just been good. Well, it was a bit of um, back on the England thing. Like the last game, I yeah, yeah, like yeah. got injured, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Um, hamstring injury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, came back. It was good to receive the pro contract. Yeah, um, it was good, like a little bit of boost of yeah, energy of course, and man, that, especially man. when you're out injured and stuff like that. So yeah, nah, yeah, man. it's good. It's a proud moment for me and my family. Definitely, yeah, man. definitely. Good big man, big man. Keep it up, man. The definitely. night before, how do you feel? <laughs> Are you kind of just waiting to see what happens? And then when the day comes, how does that moment feel as well? Well, when I signed on my pro? Yeah. Um, to be fair, like, it's just excitement throughout mm. the week, like, and like, just throughout the months, like, really, like, because with me, when I joined, it's like pre agreed, this yeah. Yeah, yeah, with yeah, my yeah, contracts course, course. and stuff like that. But like, when you get the official date, like, it's the, yeah, it's the, yeah, when you get the date, that's when you're yeah. like, oh, like, yeah, this is serious now. Sure. But I remember it was in the morning, I had to come in and do some rehab. Yeah. And then, like, it was when I was getting the. Getting the driver down, I was like, right, like, yeah. <laughs> look a butterfly, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah man, it's good, man. So, how would your friends describe you? I like to say hardworking. Hardworking. Yeah, like quite a kind person. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. so. Like, yeah, don't get in trouble much. So, yeah, keep it that way. Definitely. Yeah, man, that's good, man. Yeah. That's good, man. That's, that sounds level headed, man. And you have to be, obviously, the level you're at, the age you're at, it's easy. You know what I'm saying? Distractions are easy. So, mm -hmm. keep it up, bro. Mm -hmm. Tell us how you got here and where you hope to be in the future. Um, So, I started off. So I started late playing football around like it's like ten ish, like ten eleven. Quite so a late boomer in it, late yeah, boomer. It's then, crazy how that's considered late. Well, like, <laughs> like when you think of it, like ten is like yeah. you have kids yeah. in academies from like yeah, what? Six, that's what makes six, it six, six, it makes it crazy yeah. when you think of it, like yeah. how early you'd yeah, start. Definitely, yeah, like. but then like I first had a trial at Brighton mm -hmm. when I was. Uh, under 15s mm -hmm. and they didn't want to take me mm -hmm. and um, that, that was my first academy experience yeah, yeah, yeah. and then a couple months um, or like, like a month after that I went to Wim AFC Wimbledon yeah. and I fortunately got signed there one year deal just not a scholar just see yeah, how yeah, things yeah, went yeah, just yeah, like because yeah. they're not going to commit anything at that at that point but mm -hmm. yeah I was there for uh, like a year or so um, got off my scholar in October 2021 yeah, uh, yeah Wolves came in my uh, agent was telling me like look We've got Wolves watching you for this amount of games, they want to see what you're doing. And then I remember uh, I was got a call from my mum and dad there in London, uh, saying a hotel, and my mum was crying on the phone saying, like, oh, Wolves want you, they're going to buy you this and that. I was, <laughs> yeah, it was, a, so, yeah, it was, it was a mad experience, That's that. Big, but yeah, so uh, then uh, Wolves got me in uh, the summer just gone, around July the 1st was my first okay, day up okay. here. So um, I just want to stay here, make, make first team appearance hopefully in a couple of years yeah. maybe less but we'll just see how things goes bro your trajectory has been crazy then mm -hmm. so you're saying you come here last <coughs> last year's summer yeah mm -hmm. and since then it's just been yeah definitely oh, best of luck to you bro Thank uh, you. if things keep going the way they are, you get me like you'll, <coughs> you'll get that call up you get me you'll mm -hmm. go to the first team and who knows you get me the sky's the limit you get me so mm -hmm. keep going bro thank you yeah bro so tell us your earliest football memory at grassroots level i think it's probably um tournament from like my local side as my yeah. last tournament there yeah 
and um, I scored a hat trick, like the winning goal for my yeah, team, yeah, yeah, yeah. and went on to win the tournament. So yeah, yeah, yeah got, yeah. got the little that, shirt. What's the team called? Uh, Hassocks Robbins. Hassocks Robbins. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hassocks yeah. Remember the name Hassocks Robbins. Yeah. Yeah. Remember my yeah. 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 talent you put. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you playing star to another baller. Who do you look up to? Who did you idolise as a you watching the telly and stuff like that? As a youngster, I really liked Thierry Henry. Like this yeah. iconic any like baller, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I really and Didier Drogba as well. I really liked that's, him. That's, that's Just right, lethal, right wasn't it? Yeah, him, yeah, yeah, definitely. That's but the right guys. recently, like Wolves have been sending me a lot of clips of like Haaland and yeah, yeah, stuff yeah. like that. He's he's that's machine, right, isn't yeah. he? Like if you're scoring goals, that's all that matters as a striker. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah, that's a couple of players. Oh, that's good, man. Was it one of them ones that like, you see the TM around Ray? And the Drogba thing, mm. for me, my dad he used to just like, he used to just make me watch them. Yeah. Make me watch them before a game, like mm. watch yeah. what he does, mm. watch what he does. Mm. And you go into the game thinking, yeah, I'm a skeng man like that. Mm. Mm. Still, mm. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. What's the hardest part about being a bowler? The discipline side of things, definitely. Like, I think it's quite difficult to just, at a young age as well, to like, I don't know, skip that party, don't eat that. Like, it's a big, it's a big, big right. aspect like, of it. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly that. that so it's hard balancing your time, especially, Living away from home like, and digs and stuff like that, like when you go back home, like what decisions are you going to make, like and stuff like that. But yeah, living in digs is a bit easier. I yeah, think it's yeah. a lot. I think for most footballers, I would recommend moving to digs because I think it's a good Gives way to, yeah. yeah, like good early discipline. You learn to do stuff by yourself, yeah, like yeah. get sets you up for the future. Yeah, I respect it, man. Mm -hmm. Tell us something people don't know about footballers. <clears throat> I think a lot of people think that footballers are quite serious guys. Like a lot of it is like very like. Like a lot of you see in the media, it's just like serious, like, robots. No, yeah, robots. But I think like when you go look into it, you see a lot of people have got big personalities. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, in the change room, you see so many people mm -hmm. like open up over time. And yeah, there's a, a lot of big personalities yeah, in football, good, which good, is man. good. Mm -hmm. Who's the dancer in the change rooms? <sighs> You just can't, you, you, you just can't. Nah, it's not me. It's, nah. just, it's a guy called Fabian. He loves Fabian, dancing, yeah. man. All yeah, the yeah, little little Uzi and that. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, you know, I just yeah, want to rock yeah. and all that. Yeah, he loves that. This guy come back. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, oh, man. that's him. So next section, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna hand you these. Mm -hmm. Hold on to those. Yeah, they're yours. Mm -hmm. You're the referee. Yeah. Hopefully, you can put on a better performance than some of the referees. <laughs> the <Premier League. laughs> yeah. Hopefully, yeah. great. Um, this section is called red card. Yeah. So I'm going to make a statement. Mm -hmm. um, based on what you think of the statement, a red card is a strict no goal. You disagree. Mm -hmm. Yellow card is mm, meh, you get me. Mm -hmm. And then play on is you agree. Yeah. Good to go with that mm -hmm. statement. Couple Mundials are the most iconic football boots ever. Red card. Yeah. Thinking? Straight red, straight out of the. Straight. Wow. What are you thinking? This rest not playing. <sighs> Puma Kings, you know. Puma Kings? Yeah, okay, definitely. Okay, 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 you got like okay. the likes of Maradona, Pele wearing them yeah, and that. Yeah, so like, yeah, yeah, yeah. back in the day, they were big, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're the face of football boots and back in the time, so I think... Speeds, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gang, man. Yeah. We wouldn't expect someone I like of your age to I like say that. Yeah, because so I'm just thinking like... like mm. yeah. Eto'o was Eto as well? Mm. Maybe, I'm not even sure, because even me, I wouldn't have said I wouldn't have said You're a man of culture, obviously. I'm clapping us up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm clapping us up. He's showing us up. not expecting that. The vapors, the Merkel. Vapors. Yeah. All right then. Mm. Predators, man. Yeah, yeah no. true. I agree. Everyone says predators. Everyone says predators. Yeah. For a reason, though, isn't it? But I was a Nike kid growing up. So I hear. T nineties. Rooney. Rooney. All right, then next one. VAR should be binned. On the fire at the moment. On the yellow card. Yellow card. Yeah. It's a techie one. What do you think? Yeah. Like. The thing is, a lot of people complain about VAR when it's against you. Like that's just it, isn't it? Like when it's for you, it's different. When it's for you, it's different. Yeah. What? Like I think it has like slowed down the pace of football a lot. Like it's just getting like as a player, like you're just standing there, a bit yeah, like yeah, unsure yeah. what's yeah. happening. Tempo with the game's gone. Yeah, tempo with the game's gone. I think a lot of people were more happy when there was no VAR. Like, but it's a controversial one always. So. You know what's crazy? The celebrations for me. So like you've just banged the goal. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And you're like, yeah. You're yeah. like this, and, and then you've got, got to cancel it. Like, the celebration. No, 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 no. Yeah. But then if the goal's allowed, you got to do your celebration again. Like, yeah, 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 like yeah, so yeah, yeah. does it? Does that take away? Do you get two celebrations? You know what I'm saying? It's weird. Yeah. It's weird. I hate when the player like. You know it's offside. Yeah. But exactly. the player's running, mm. they touch the ball, then it's like offside. Mm. Just do that already. Yeah, Why yeah, am I yeah, wasting yeah. my time yeah. running? Yeah, man. It's, it's yeah. tech at the moment, man. And obviously it's on the fire at the moment. But like you said, the stop starting thing, mm -hmm. it's become more of like a. Like you, that's what that's what man watch NFL for. Mm, stop yeah, starting the way yeah. the games play. You get me? Like <laughs> we don't want that. Football's always uh, been. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, boom. Period, yeah. And I respect the refs that like still allow the game to play as much yeah. as they can, even though they've got VAR. Yeah. And that's why you see it on the fire at the moment. Yeah, but yeah. we'll we'll see in it. We'll yeah. see. It's we just need now, more it? communication. Mm. Like give them a microphone mm -hmm, and let's mm -hmm, just hear. Mm -hmm. You know what? His arm looked like he was offside. Like, yeah. So you know what's going on. What's going on? Yeah, man. 
So we'll see, because I don't think it's going now, and it's here to stay, no, in it. No, it's going to be. So we've got to take the good with the bad, innit? Yeah. Got to take the good with the bad. Crystal Palace have the best home shirt in the Premier League. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> early, man. Yeah. He's got the best home shirt, what we're saying. I think I think it's between United and Chelsea. United and Chelsea. Yeah, I really like the Chelsea's home kit. It's very clean. Like I, yeah. I like the little colours, that's why I like both mm -hmm. of them. Like I think it looks really clean. Okay, okay. Like, okay. That's why. Yeah. What are you guys saying? Mm, I like the Arsenal one. Yeah, Arsenal. I like the Arsenal one. Yeah. I like the colour. <laughs> Of course you do. Nice and red. Of course you do. <laughs> yeah. nice and red. I mean, look, we're here, but you can't argue with walls. The colour. Iconic. No. Mm. Who else has bro, got nobody, that colour? Nobody else. No one, mm. Nobody. You know? mm. you get me that black and gold's been Damn. iconic, bro. Yeah. Iconic, you get me. And they've never gone away from it, you get me. Doritos back in the day. <laughs> iconic, bro. Who had a Dorito sponsor? <laughs> Pop is the best genre of music. Red card, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, red card. Mm. Yeah, definitely not. Obviously, we know pop's like one of the main genres, yeah. but yeah. What, what, what are you listening to? Depends, a bit of R&B here and there. Like, it just depends what the vibe is, isn't it? I listen to like quite a lot of UK drill. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Who's, of... who's your top artist right now? It's difficult. I quite like listening to like Digger D, yeah. like Central C a lot. Yeah, yeah, Central yeah. C is like one of my top favourites at Central. the moment. Yeah, he's up there, right, definitely. Right. Digger D getting you gassed up for the matches. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some of the stuff they're saying is brazy, it? Brazy, brazy, but yeah. it hurts you off, innit? Yeah, that's if you've got the maturity to sort yeah. of take it as like and delve it into sort of your motivation and the pitch, then bro, yeah. that's gonna get your work up still. That's how you treat the football. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah literally, literally, <laughs> literally. What would you say your guilty pleasure is? What do you listen to? In the bath, in the shower, with the candles on and them nah. things there. I do listen to a bit of pop, like. Yeah, go on, yeah. go on, go on, go on, go on, get it, go on. Like, Got some names. Go some names. <laughs> Don't be shy, you know. Come on, man, come on, man. You're, here. you're gone halfway yeah, now, you know. Yeah, you're dead. Get it, man. Uh, we've had man them listen to Adele. We've had man them listen to... Nah, Adele's hard. Adele's hard? Yeah, Adele's yeah, hard. The streets Adele love Adele. Adele. The streets love Adele, 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 you know. Adele is hard, man. Yo, Adele, you're getting love, you know. Yeah, it's real, always, it, it, you get me, you yeah, give credit where it's true, man. Like, a couple of days, like, you know, when you're just, like, feeling a bit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slap on some Adele and you feel a lot better in it, so, yeah. Yeah, man, I hear that, I hear that. Players should be banned from social media. 100% a red card. Red card? Yeah, 100% a red card. You want to show them clips in it? <laughs> Not even clips, you know. <laughs> now, what would you say then, like, benefits-wise? Because um, people always love to talk about, ah, oh, social media is terrible, mm. and this and that. Mm. But there are really good bits about yeah, social media too. Like, what would you say as a player, like, social media is for you? What does it mean to you? Like, Well, I feel like at this current time now, there's not too much you can do as a, as a young age. But yeah. like, I feel like when you get, if you become a professional footballer, mm. Premier League, regularly, whatever, like, you have a lot of power to inspire a lot of, like, people. Mm. Like, I know that. I follow people on Instagram that I look at, see their posts and it inspires me to do more and as you can spread good good positivity. Same with like same with like mental health awareness. Like it's really a good platform to spread things. Like I think it's really important social media, but if it's managed properly then yeah, I think it's good. But it's again you can flip it on the other side and you've got people like fans and stuff commenting and but that's not really like the players control yeah yeah but yeah, yeah there's more technology these days that are helping sort it out which is good yeah. but yeah I think you got your head screwed on bro man you got your head screwed on <laughs> yeah. you got your head screwed on bro you get me like talking like this at 17 like you don't really even as a player just as a, a general you you know what i'm saying mm. you don't really see many youths to that mentality especially football it's hard social media can be a big distraction yeah definitely you know what i'm saying you got the trolls in the mm -hmm. comments you got girls in your yeah. dms you get me like you've got to avoid it all bro you get me you got to avoid it all so mm -hmm. big up yourself man thank you Next section, bro. Perfect player. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna ask you perfect player and I want runners up. Mm -hmm. First section, dribbling. Who's the perfect player based on dribbling? Just Lionel Messi, innit? He does what he does. He, like, simple as, like, I know you got Neymar and that, like, doing all the tricks and skills it's just and that, but though, it, it's just a different level of dribbling. Like, uh, bro, I, like, whoa, so close to his foot. Yeah, it mm -hmm. doesn't. Like, it's crazy, yeah, bro. Like, yeah. the, like, the dribbling technique is crazy, mm -hmm. bro. Low, sense, low, sen low central yeah, gravity. Yeah. Like, it's crazy, man. You can see why, like, Players either don't want to go in for the tackle, and if they do, like the foul in him, yeah. you get me? Like, yeah. it's mad, bro. Yeah. Runners up, it's got to be Neymar. Neymar. Yeah. Mm. Just because the flair. Like, flair. yeah. We go we go for just use of like skill on that, like, and just good dribbling, go Messi, and then for flair and tech, like, I go Neymar yeah. second, definitely. But honorable mention, I would like to say, like, Ronaldo back when he was at Manchester United, when he first started, that yeah, guy was different yeah, breed. Yeah, man. Step different overs breed. Were crazy, yeah, yeah. Different breed step back then. Crazy, yeah. Crazy. Hundred percent. You guys agree? Yeah, especially Neymar. Neymar is just well, that's the thing. I think he's not efficient, but no. What do you on the day you want to enjoy it? You want to enjoy yeah, it. Just definitely. go on YouTube and enjoy yeah. watching Neymar. Yeah, exactly. What do you think of Neymar's career? I think wasted potential. I it's think. crazy, isn't it? Like, yeah. like, but at the set, it's weird. Really? It's very it's weird. Wasted potential. No, it's crazy. Like, you no, know, when you think about it, like, when yeah. you actually think about it, like, I was talking about someone to this other, like, about it the other day, and like, you look at Neymar, yeah, world class, yeah. obviously world class, mm, but yeah. 
has he done everything that he could have like? Yeah, got a Champions League. He has, but like, I don't. There's, some, there's just something that's not like. He didn't, the only thing he didn't get is the World Cup. I know, man. No, that's not, why he no, needed man. it. It's, I it's think. So, his, his I don't know what it is, man. There. You know what it is. I think it was the whole fact of like. At Barca, yeah. MSN, he's mm. never been like the pivotal, yeah. he's yeah. never been like the main guy at a club, yeah. which is obviously cool, but what club has he been the main guy at? PSG. When you joined PSG at the start. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. now, but I mean, some say for how, how long was that for? A few a months? Good, a long time. Like a years, long time. Three, four years. A long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think sometimes we judge players a bit too harshly, you know? Yeah. Mm. To I have a career that no, Neymar's had, respect, like, definitely. yeah, but I, I mean, to maximise it, I see what you're saying, because that potential was so big. Yeah, man, it's like... Thinking maybe he only... I don't know, bro, there's something, there's something, man. I think he could have won a Ballon d'Or. That's right, one thing. There, there, oh, okay. is, there is. I think he had the potential. I think he had the potential to win a Ballon d'Or. You I think, think so. Why Messi was around? I think because he was playing for PSG. Like I think if he was in one of the like, That's probably if he was in a bigger yeah. league, like True. if True. he was in like the, like, I would like to see him in the Prem. Yeah, like, nah. he should have gone Chelsea. Yeah, exactly. They always kind of pull off them kind of signs. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But I respect that. That's it. That's it. You know, there's, there's always just been something like, and it's like, yeah, yeah, man. Something, a little something there. He ain't got the balloon deal. Oh man. Um, long shots. First, Steven Gerrard. Some of his shots were ridiculous. Back Is that you on the day. playground, yeah? yeah. Nah, School. nah. I was, I was a little flick merchant, you know what I mean? Flick merchant. Yeah, okay, 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 <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? But yeah, um, him and then Ronaldo second. Definitely. Gerard's iconic for it, innit, yeah, man? Like, yeah. it's, it's just, mm. it, it wasn't like a one away tingle, he's done two. Like, yeah. you know, if that ball's coming just outside the box and he's running onto it, like, <clears throat> like yeah, man. Yeah. Gerard, then you're saying Ronaldo? Yeah, Ronaldo. Some of his, like, like including that free kicks as well, some of his shots from like, outside the box and that were Crazy, just, the power he gets on it is just like yeah. inhuman. So, Remember that one he scored against Arsenal? Arsenal. The, I was just about the, to say. The, I was just about to say. In the semi final Champions League, that was crazy, yeah. like, from the right. Yeah. From the right hand side. Right hand yeah. side, it's like moving. Yeah, yeah, it's like. <laughs> yeah, it's from broken, Thinking so. how, like. Yeah, it's but, yeah man. It's, yeah, it's a good shot. Honourable mention to Mr. Neves, considering yeah, what. Yeah, Ruben Neves. Right now, yeah. Ball, yeah, ball, yeah, ball, 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 ball. Bro, listen, it's even now, like, you get me, you see the ball come out and he's like, hey, bro, the guy could be like on the wing, bro, left Trust wing me. or half. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, man, they love him, man. They love him. He's iconic for that, man. Yes. Vision. Mesut Ozil first. Ozil. I think I think he's a ridiculously underrated player. Yeah. Especially at, like when he was at Arsenal, he's just ridiculous. Underappreciated, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Definitely. Man. Some of the stuff he did was just a joke. Mm -hmm. But so many good midfielders these days. I mean, you got like wise, yeah. you got like Iniesta, Xavi, Modric, this and that. But I think at the moment, De Bruyne, hundred percent. De Bruyne is just ridiculous at it. Crazy stuff. He's ridiculous at it. So crazy. Yeah. So the balls is popping off yeah. and just the things he's doing. Yeah. Bro. With Harlan at the back post, you're not missing. It's an easy goal yeah, every knows, time. Yeah. Like, you, know, you know what it is as well? Like, certain players just you like like a hendo, they're just hoofing it in it. Yeah. You get me, but like my man, you know what like, <laughs> Hendo disrespect. <laughs> yeah. No disrespect, but like <laughs> bro, it's hashtag, hashtag hendo hoof in it. The hendo hoof is famous, bro. Mm. The hendo hoof is famous. You get me? Bring him my last 10 minutes. You get me? You can't, you get me? Keep it in the air with the one air play. Mm. Endo, bro. <laughs> but nah, like, like the trajectory of his balls, like he knows, like the right amount of flight to put on it. KDB is just crazy. Yeah, crazy. Crazy. Um, skill. We've got the five star skills. Yeah, Neymar. Neymar in the top. Hundred percent in the top. Um, Ronaldo on his day, obviously. Ronaldo on his day. Yeah. <sighs> what honourable mention I'd like to say, Vinny Junior as well. Mm. Ridiculous. At the moment, he's tearing it up. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Ridiculous. You can't stop him. Like, yeah, you can't stop. But yeah, definitely Neymar then Ronaldo. Yeah. I think he's having it tough at the moment, so he'll get yeah. a bit of slander off the pitch. Yeah. Like, yeah, off the pitch, yeah. like, what's the need, bro? Yeah. Obviously, we know the situation, but yeah, mm. man, it's just let the boy play ball, man. You get mm. me, let him be great, man. Mm. He's cold. Football should be about Dre at the end of the day. Mm. He's giving Dre to people. This so. is what I'm saying, man. man Honourable shout out, Ronaldinho. Yeah, Ronaldinho. Of course, of course. Oh, man, course. Yeah. Got come, about on, come on, come on. Yeah. Was the YouTube video real? Which one? The crossbar, the oh, first the crossbar thing. Well, the one was hitting off the crossbar back and forth. <laughs> we, love, we, we like to think it was yeah. back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. Remember watching it as a young guy? What's this guy doing? Uh, crazy. Um, passing. Best passes in the game. General passing. I think definitely Iniesta. Like, I think he was just ridiculous. Yeah. Like Just all range of passing. Mm -hmm. Ridiculous. Um, it's a tough one. There's too many ballers out there, man. Trent's got a ball on him at the moment. Trent's got a ball on him at the moment. Mm -hmm. 
But I'm talking consistently, consistently though. Like, consistently over a number of years. That's like, like KDB again, isn't it? Yeah, it's right? KDB it again. Crazy, He's been consistent with his passing for time now. Xavi Alonso was... Yeah, 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 yeah I see what I was yeah, just about yeah, to say. Mean, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Fabregas. Bro. Mm, Fabregas. Oh, yeah. I'd even say, like, like Luka Modric as well. Like, mm, ridiculous Modric, bro, as well. Modric, the, the wizard. It's still going. It's still bro, going. still going strong. Crazy, yeah. crazy. Yeah. yeah, man. Yeah, man, ballers, proper ballers. Next section. We've got ranked. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to name three different things. Mm -hmm. I'm going to rank them in order. Cool. First one, Stone Island, get the badge in. Trap Star and Palm Angels. First, I'm going to say Trap Star. Trap Star bottom? Yeah, Trap Star bottom. Take it if, personal, you know. Ethan's not going to like that. Yeah, he loves his Trap Star. Ethan's not going to like that. He's not going to like that. Is it, is it not sure he's here somewhere. I think like, when it first came out, it was like yeah, unreal. Yeah, yeah. What they were doing is ridiculous. But, a guillotine, innit? Yeah, but now I'm seeing bare guys, like five guys, different guys wearing trap star tracksuits yeah, to the travel, training ground. Hold of it yeah, now, yeah, yeah. Like it just gets passed around, innit? Like it's a bit. It was good when it was like exclusive, you know I what I mean? I hear, like, I hear, I hear, yeah. but people just like, especially resellers and that, just get their hands on that. As soon as they drop, bam, yeah, it's gone. Yeah, yeah, you can't you, get it. What do you crazy. think of resellers in general? Like? <sighs> Yeah, that looks, that yeah. looks from Rupa's. Yeah. What, man, the bots are crazy, innit? Yeah, it's stupid. Like, you're trying to get something and you just can't get anything, like, right? so, yeah. Mm. Worse on sneakers, bro. Mm. Sneakers is the worst, mm -hmm. bro. Sneakers at, bro. Mm. <sighs> so, That's what are you saying? Trap Star? Then what? Palm Angels. Palm Angels. Then Stone Island. Stone Island. But I'm only putting Stone Island top just because of the. I don't know, just like how popular it is and how, like, it's iconic VTG, it is. It's yeah, like, it's, it's iconic. It's, yeah, man. It's, it's iconic. Like, yeah, man. Like you wouldn't catch me wearing it often, but like yeah. it's iconic. Cheeky that's why. Yeah. 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 yeah, those yeah. boots though are hard. The New Balance Stone yeah. Island ones yeah. are hard. Yeah, man. Yeah, they're hard. Stone Island's just like clean and yeah. it's yeah. just like yeah. very sort of. Yeah. It's got its status. It knows where it is. Knows who it's for, yeah. and it's never changed. Palm Angels. Don't you reckon everyone's got the bear, the, the bear, the bear with their head off, and everyone's got that mm. as well, man? Yeah. Mm. Get one of them from Best Scott down the yeah. road. You get yeah. Me, like, yeah, go to a club, go to a club and just count. Yeah, 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 yeah. that, man. Yeah, yeah. Chap up there, man. Chap stars up there for me. It is, yeah. But I hear you. All right, the next one. Digga D, JK, AJ Tracy. I don't listen to too much JK. Oh, yeah. Nah. Not a grime head? <sighs> on, like, on a, on a day, like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah, in and out. Yeah, but, um... Yeah, I drill you to it. Yeah, I'm going to have to put, <laughs> put JK at the bottom. <laughs> oh, my guy, man. Oof, oof. I don't listen to him. I hear ya, I hear ya, Harris Wicked. Um, soak, soak him when you're ready. Yeah. Soak him, man. <laughs> AJ, then dig a D. You're gonna dig it first, yeah. then dig a D, innit? <laughs> I think, oh, oh. Go on, go on. Mm. It's difficult because just, I don't know, I feel like Digger's just a generational talent. Yeah, 100%. It's for ease, kind of like Vinny Jr. kind of levels. Mm. Like, mm. I'm a music man, though, done. so like, if I want to listen to bars, flows, you get me? Like, for me, as an artist, artistry, all around artistry, mm. JK's the top of them, man. Mm. Like, he's done the pop thing, the IB for tunes, he's yeah. done the grime tunes, he's done the rap true, 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 tunes, true. the Peaky Blind, you get me? Yeah. AJ Tracy, then Digger, you what get me? What would you say is um, JK's best work? That, that gets best you work. really excited. <clears throat> JK's done Bear, Henry VIII, you get me? Chop, flipping, just his grime tunes, you get me? Like, mm. Froggy with Daps and that, he's worked with Skepta. Mm. Flipping the house stuff he does, you get me. That's even crazy when it comes to the season inside beef and like, the house stuff's crazy. Mm. Um, what else has he got? JK's got bear man, you but get me. Is it better than um, Digga two fake and two fake and heartache, bro? They're iconic, bro. Is that better than Digga D's um, next stop? Ah, yeah, bro, but uh, you know, see, you can't compare, yeah, though, bro. Yeah, you can, yeah, that's not I don't think you can compare because, right. like, bro, like, you get me, like, when you're listening to two fake and heartache and yeah. headache and the headphones and them things, there, yeah, like, bro, like, it's iconic, bro. The stuff he's talking, he's telling Pepsi's mm. story, yeah. And then, obviously, like, I ain't gonna lie, the digger next stop, bro, that's just like, move out my way, bro. You get me, like, mm. move out my way. I think too many of his songs are too iconic, though, for Digger D, yeah, like, uh, you got Woy. You know yeah, I mean? they are, yeah, man. The 50, it's groundwork. 50%. Yeah, it's groundwork. I hear, yeah. I hear, I respect <laughs> it, man. I respect it. Mm -hmm. Are we doing London versus Brom now? That's what we're doing. Nah, but big up AJ Tracy as well. Yeah, hundred packages. Yeah, cold, incredible yeah. stuff. Cold, cold. You, you cold. get everybody listening to him. Cold. Yeah. Yeah. Musiala, <clears throat> Bellingham, Gavi. That is a techie right now, isn't it? Wow. Um, I'm gonna have to put Gavi at the bottom. Okay, yeah. I and then. Musiala second, Jude Bellingham first. You know what, I agree with you, bro. Yeah. I respect that, you know, that's my guy, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, man. I agree, you know what it is? It's just the, uh, Gavi's that pretty football in it. Yeah. Javi and Yester, the, they're already saying it. It's the pretty, the, 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 the flamboyant play. Do you think, though, Gavi's got, a bit yeah, of yes, a man. Yes, man. He's got that dog in him. Yeah, 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 but 
It's got it. Just that Bellingham and Musiala, bro. The man them, yeah, you get me? Yeah, they're crazy. Yeah, no, I see it. I see it. You mm. get me like these, man. How old, how, how old are they each? How old are they? Bellingham's 19. Yeah. yeah. Bellingham's sure 19. 19 as well. Same, bro. Bright ahead of them, man. Yeah, you get me 100%. So, yeah, man. And they did it at the World Cup. I think that's so, that's so important. Proved, proved it. Yeah. Proved yeah. it, bro, at this age as well. So bright futures ahead of them, man. Mm -hmm. Adidas, Nike, Puma. <laughs> it's actually so difficult. Uh, yeah. Bottom, I'm going to have to put Adidas. Adidas, yeah. Yeah, like, I've been wearing Adidas boots to, like, the season quite a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just don't feel like the brand's like... There's no more crepes, is there? Like, what do you like? You get me, man, like, man, get the Jamaica kit, the Jama yeah. new Jamaica kit. Mm -hmm. What trainers you wear with it? Yeah. What trainers you wear with it? Are you going to be one of them man, them, that mixes Nike and Adidas? Yeah. One of them bombs. No, I'm not doing that. One of them bombs that mixes Nike and Adidas. Yeah. 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 I don't go together with them. You get me? That, that ultimate treason. Are you going to be one of them guys? Or what, what trainers are we wearing with the new mm. Jamaica kit? Mm. I feel like you, it's just superstars. But apart from that, mm. Stan Smith, I feel like... As we, as we, how do you say it? As we, as we go. As we go. As we go. I just feel like Adidas don't really have like a staple. Staple trainer. That's come, that's been out for a while. I mean, they got Yeezys though. Well, they they need back. They're, 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 they trying they're trying to get it back. Yeah. Trying to get it See, back. See, that's the thing. Without easy. <coughs> yeah, exactly. It's techie. So, what are you saying? Adidas, Puma, Nike. Okay, okay, okay. Nice. I've just been a Nike man like, for time now. Like From all the way from young, I've only it's really had Nike culture. boots. It's roots of culture, like, isn't it, bro? Yeah. From yeah. Used to. Culture, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah. But I rate Puma's culture. thing, though. They're good. Yeah. Oh, on, the, on the upcome. Like, Puma's culture as well from the Krypton Conan sponsor they had back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Like, they had the whole of that's South London on. Yeah, that's old, bro, the Puma tracksuits during like before lockdown and during lockdown, mm, bro. Puma and Bape Cheapest stuff. in JD, bro. They were feeding yeah. the streets, bro. You get me? Like, kept Definitely. it real, man. When Nike Tech went up to like flipping two bills of tracksuits, yeah. Puma kept it real. You get me? Yeah. 50 pound of tracksuit. You get I me? I mean, the streets, Nike's at top, but. Them Air Forces, the inflation. I know we talked about yeah. this before, but the, the inflation. Resell the resellers. For me, I don't know if I could put Nike top after that. Like, it's crazy right nah, now. Nah, still one, what, one tens. Mm. Can't even call them one tens no more, bro. Got to call them one fifties. One fifties. I feel like to Puma, Puma are working hard to kind of understand what people want now, yeah. especially like Gen Z. And I think whereas Nike and Adidas can just kind of live off what they've done. Yeah. I feel like especially New Balance, Puma, they're really trying to yeah, like, yeah, do yeah. things differently, and I respect mm -hmm. that. Yeah, definitely. All right then, all right then. This one's the one, you know. Skulls, Gerard, Lampard. There we go again. It's this one, in it, bro. This is the okay. one, you know. If you know Boar, you know Boar, and man, them are going to put the one first. Who should be first? That's all I'm saying. I think Lampard should go first. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Gerard first. Gerard first? Gerard first. <sighs> Skulls second. And then Lampard last. I think. No skulls first. Nah, I'd put skulls first. I have to, man. Because of, of, because of Janine, he's got the Javier and Iniesta call side. A lot of what those players were saying about, like, when you ask like a lot of like players who they really respected, like Paul Skulls comes first, and I think mm. he was in a team that had like Ryan Giggs, had Beckham, and because he weren't the flashiest, <coughs> yeah, yeah, he went yeah. under the radar. Yeah, and I think a lot of. Social media wasn't around when Paul Scholes was really like doing yeah, his yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas Lampard and Gerard, they kind of have like social media backing as mm. well. But all, at the same time, Lampard scored goals. Yeah, Gerard, it's a goal scorer. It's the, impact, yeah. the impact they had as well in it. You get me? Like you said, like you said that Gerard long range shot. Yeah. It just felt a bit more. You know what I'm saying? It's goal, but scores like scores is just Rolls Royce, bro. Vintage, like just clean, bro. Mm. Just the stupid touches in that, bro. Like it's yeah, man. Mm. So but what are you saying? So so what you've got Lampard last? Yeah, yeah, Lampard last. Lampard Skull last. Skull second, Gerard. But the only reason why I put Skulls second, like I rate what he's doing, but he was in such an unreal team. Yeah. It just made what he's doing easy. Easier. Like I hear yeah. Like that's the only reason why. Like I feel like Gerard, like and. Lampard. Gerard carried in it. Yeah, he carried quite a lot for yeah, man, yeah. a couple seasons in it. That's Lampard why I read what he's doing. Carried, yeah, yeah. yeah, I hear you. Palace, Off White, and Supreme. Palace bottom. Palace bottom. Yeah. Uh, Supreme second to bottom. Mm -hmm. um, off White first. 100%. Off -white I, like, first. I, like, I like Off White a lot. What do you guys say? I like Off White. I think Off White is kind of, um, I don't know, it's a bit <laughs> low key. I don't feel yeah. like it's all the time in your face. Yeah. Like I'll see like a I'll see like the logo and I'll be like that's off white but mm. it's not the teddy bear falling off. It's the tag on the trainers for me that really stood out. Like you know when you're going out, you see yeah. the Air Force, but they got that off white thing. Yeah, you know, they got that little bit extra. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sauce, you get me. <laughs> so like, I remember there was a pair of I think it's like off white um, Prestos. Yeah. Nike Prestos, yeah, 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 yeah. and that collab still is like it's yeah. rare, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's held its value, yeah, and yeah, stuff. So yeah, I can, I can. Even when Prestos didn't hold their value, yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah that's how that's how true, good it was. True, so big off way. Athletes: Michael Jordan, Roger Federer, Lionel Messi. 
Lionel Messi first. Yeah. I think he's like he's just like known all over the world. Like I feel like some people that don't know basketball, like and sport in America, like over here, yeah. they might not really know too much about M Michael Jordan. The trainers. But the trainers, so yeah, that are, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're, you're thinking like, I'm the, you're I'm, thinking I'm, for their sport, I'm it? thinking for their sport, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, yeah. But he's got a point mm. because... I do hear, yeah. Football's just more, a lot, a lot bigger. It's a universal Marvel language. Reach. So when it's they're saying language. Jordans, they're not putting it together. Michael yeah, Jordan. 100%. Yeah. yeah, so they're saying, I, mean, I love Jordans. They say Messi, yeah. yeah. If they yeah, say, yeah. what's the first name of Jordans? I don't know about yeah, that. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man, man, yeah. Messi yeah. first, yeah, I'll put Whereas football, yeah, you go Messi. any country, you say yeah. Ronaldo, Messi, Manchester United. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know if they're good or not Arsenal like that. You get me like, you say Arsenal, some countries they're going to... Arsenal? Uh, nah, Arsenal? Yeah, yeah. You're saying they won't know Arsenal? Bro, I if I go Sri Lanka now, yeah. Nah, they don't. Some, You're going to find Sri Lankan gooners. Nah, <laughs> but find, Saka, Saka. Find, you'll find, you have to look for they them. If I, go, if I go Sri Lanka now and say Manchester United, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Say Arsenal. Hmm? Nah. <laughs> Disagree. Russia. What are we saying about Federer, though? Obviously, we, we've left him out, but. Can't, got a big got appeal to tennis. Racing. Massive yeah, appeal, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tennis is crazy. That's what you're saying. That's saying then. Messi first. Yeah. Michael Jordan. Yeah. Roger Federer. That's Definitely. completely fair. That yeah, is fair enough. That's that's I agree. Fair. That's After the point you made about, yeah, yeah. man. I know Football's Bear Man. Universal language, innit, man? Yeah, I know Bear Man that I'd be like, do you know, like, oh, who are these shoes yeah, are from? They'd be like, yeah. nah. And they'd be like, right, right, man. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. Everybody I'm, speaks football, innit? Yeah, Everybody 100%. Football. PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo. Oh, easy, man. Um, PlayStation first. Like, you PlayStation guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Xbox second, Nintendo third. You ever owned an Xbox? Never. Never. Never in my life. 17, you know, so he's got you. That's true, oh, that's no, the thing, no, no, it's that's mad, that's isn't it? That's so like, very important. Like, I'm the same, though. I've never had the Evo. I don't get that. You didn't have the 360. No, no, no. There was a 360 yeah. time. No, no Gears of War, no Halo. It was a 360 no, time. Nothing. Everyone was on 360. Bro, listen. You had your batteries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a 360 time. not have my batteries. You missed the face. Even FIFA, I think it was FIFA 10 and 11 on 360, bro. Yeah, FIFA 12, FIFA 13. Yeah, it was on bro. I think you get me, but. I ain't gonna lie, PlayStation's just yeah. it's clear, man. can't beat it, bro. So that's it, bro. Mm -hmm. Man, I have yeah. Mm -hmm. Best of luck. Thank you. Like a wicked start to the year, bro. Hope your trajectory just keeps going up and up and up, man. You're Thank a sick you. guy. You get me seeing where headed. Best of luck with your career, man. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming through, man. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. So this is group chat. Yeah, we got Deji, James, and my boy Leon. Big up yourselves, yeah. Big up yourself, Leon. Respect for coming, yeah. And we're done, guys. Yeah.